This is code work. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Run this program and see how it works. Don't have to tell me twice. Kwapow. Uh, go to the next screen. Okay, click back to the home screen. Okay, click. Go to the next. Oh, I guess that's all it does. Make sure you see. You click the button on the screen. Done. How does the set screen block work? Oh, okay. Set screen. So it looks like on the event that next button is clicked, we then execute this code inside. On the event that the back button is clicked, and if I hit reset here, guys, let me hover. Notice this says next button. So this code in here and this function and this yellow greenish block only runs on the uh, event of an action. Now, what action is that? Uh, the next button. This, the ID, notice it says next button. That's because if I click this guy, pow, this stuff happens. And we set the screen to two. Now, what is two? Let me click up here. pow, that's this. Now watch this, back button. On the event that the back button is clicked, back button for the ID, set the screen to home screen, which is this, and console log, quipow. So, looks like we got that down. Add one command inside the second on event block to set one property of the home icon. Okay, so let me grab set property. Here's the second on event block. Do it at the bottom. Uh, and home icon, I clicked the little arrowy thing. Uh, and then what can I change here? I could change the width, the height. Ooh, I want to change icon color to... Ah, red's fine. All right, let's see how this goes. Quipow. Go to that screen. Quipow. Back button. Quipow. Wait, what did I do? <gasps> Ooh! Did you see it go red? Now, if I do it faster, it will happen faster. Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Pretty cool. Sweet. Onward.